if true, it reads like a, a fairly common practice uh, that you see um, in the service industry. Employment litigator Matthew Okiishi says attorneys have certainly pleaded a case against Jeff Ruby Culinary Entertainment. The federal lawsuit claims seven Jeff Ruby restaurants forced tipped employees to share tips with back of house staff. The law requires a higher minimum wage for those workers because they are considered no tip employees. Okiishi says sharing tips is common and it's not illegal for a server to decide to share their tips with the back of the house. Where it becomes illegal is if the employer, through operating a tip pool or through other means, is requiring the sharing of those tips with back of house staff. The lawsuit also claims Jeff Ruby's tipped employees also had to do other jobs where they didn't receive tips, like cleaning glassware, rolling silverware, cleaning booths, or taking trash out. The lawsuit claims those tasks took 30 minutes or more, and the employee was still paid at the lower hourly rate. Um, what, where the issue is going to come up is how much time was actually spent doing that. Because, yes, the employer is supposed to bifurcate their time between tipped work and non-tipped work. In a statement, Jeff Ruby Culinary Entertainment CEO Brittany Ruby Miller said this lawsuit was filed by one disgruntled former employee. She says in part, quote, the actions alleged in the lawsuit are untrue and we plan to defend ourselves vigorously to the fullest extent of the law. Regardless of this lawsuit's outcome, Okiishi believes it will raise awareness within the service industry. Well, review your current practices, make sure that you're following proper protocols and making sure that staff is um, adequately trained on those protocols, especially management. Now, I also spoke with the attorneys who filed this lawsuit. They are calling this wage theft. They are encouraging anyone who has ever worked at Jeff Ruby's restaurants to reach out to them if you believe your rights have been violated. Now, you can find their contact information in the full lawsuit that's posted right now on Local12.com. From breaking news to feel-good stories, Local 12 has it all. Tab subscribe and click the links for more content like this.